Here are my uh, flea market finds for November 7, 2010. Uh, start off, I got a uh, Shawnee Pottery uh, Puss in Boots with uh, four salt pepper shakers. Uh, it was five dollars, a uh, pretty good deal. Uh, years ago, uh, cookie jars was a hot, were a hot collectible. Um, I could have got an easy hundred dollars for this. I'm not sure what it'll bring now. So, uh, cookie jar collecting isn't uh, what it used to be. Uh, if you didn't know the difference between a salt and pepper shaker, pepper shaker has four holes. Uh, salt shaker has three. Uh, got some sterling silver. This one is uh, Steef. Uh, put it on a scale that weighs uh, 1.2 ounces. Uh, the bottom of this uh, it's weighted. I'm not sure how much silver is actually there. Mark Quaker Silver Company. Um, the guy knew it was sterling, and uh, he only wanted five dollars for the spoon and uh, two dollars for the uh, salt shaker, or is it a pepper shaker? Um, but 1.2 ounces for the spoon uh, makes it right around $25 worth of silver right there. So, can't get wrong. Uh, bought a roll of uh, nickels for uh, $3. Uh, only because they were 19.59 and older. Let's see what's, uh, what's in there. Uh, interesting thing. Um, the nickels that are currently in circulation uh, actually have over six cents worth of metal in them. So you can go to the bank and get um, get a bunch of nickels and they're worth worth more than the metal. Of course it's um, illegal to melt them down but uh, it wouldn't be a bad idea to keep a, keep a few of them around. What old uh, FDR uh, pin. Um, FDR is one of the only uh, four-term presidents. Um, probably a lot of pins out there for him. But, uh, this was only three dollars. Uh, not sure what it's worth. Probably not much more. Uh, neat looking. Uh, got a typewriter, a little uh, portable one in a carrying case. It was two dollars. I normally don't go for typewriters, but uh, couldn't really turn it down for two bucks. Uh, back behind this is a uh, ox yoke uh, with a nice uh, forged uh, metal piece there. Uh, paid ten for that. After I bought it, a guy told me he got it from, uh, um, it was out with the trash. So, I guess he was happy just getting ten for it. Um, not sure what I can get for it. I think it's, I don't know. If you had an antique shop, you could probably get, uh, 50 bucks for it. Not sure. I'll put it on Craigslist. See what it uh, think about it. Probably end up getting about uh, 30 or 40 for it. Bought a wood tray for two bucks, and uh, the only reason I did, I like the uh, I like the way it was constructed. It's not worth more than that, but uh, single piece of wood across the bottom. <coughs> And the uh, they snap out like that. I just thought it was neat, and it's old. And I uh, bought a uh, guitar, a uh, Les Paul Pee Wee. Very good condition. Um, Les Paul is a very good name. Uh, looked and. 
I'm going to put this on the uh, Craigslist and probably get about 100, 120 for it. Paid 50 for it. So that's it. Not a whole lot. A few good finds. Um, I like my uh, Puss in Boots there. Uh, 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 it's getting harder and harder to find stuff.